God sent his love. His love is Jesus Christ. For all of us, God sent a Savior. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For us. And he wants that Savior to live within us. The purpose of Christmas, the meaning of Christmas, is that he, he wants you to know that he sent his love just for you. Easter and Christmas is the biggest celebration because it gets the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ out the multitudes of people and they want to learn something about him because they must go to church they think on Easter or they go to church on Christmas because they God want to draw more people to share the love of Jesus Christ to have an abundant life and eternal life. He wants you to have abundant life on this earth now. And then when you die, he wants you to have an eternal life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So John 10.10 10 says, he came to give life and give it more abundantly. Say abundant life. Abundant life. He wants you to have abundant life right now. He wants you to have peace right now. He wants you to have joy right now. He wants you to have forgiveness right now. And he wants you to walk in it right now. He don't want you to get older, adult, and get old age. He wants you to enjoy his love right now. Say God want me. God to, enjoy to enjoy his love, his love right, now. right now. Now, some of you have not dedicated Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. You don't have to do it tonight, but at some point in your life, say, Lord God, I want to dedicate my life unto you. You can say it right now if you like. Say, Lord God, Lord God I want to dedicate my life to you. I want to be your disciple. In the name of Jesus, help me to be your disciple, to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Help me to learn about my Savior, my Redeemer, my High Priest, who died and suffered. For me, I want you to realize that Jesus is real today. Jesus is real. He actually came from heaven on the throne and came down on this earth and was born in Mary. Say, Jesus, Jesus is alive. Is alive. And, all right, God sent his son, Jesus Christ, for me. And did you say that? God sent Jesus Christ for me. I want you to realize that he was in the throne with God. And he came down on this earth. He sent his son. He sent his love just for you. Just say, just for me. Just for me. Yes, Abraham, look, Abraham had the same thing. God sent his son, the Savior, just for me. Say it. God sent his son, the Savior, just for me. I can hear you. And also, God wants you to know that he really do love you. God said, God loves me. God loves me. That he sent his son, Jesus Christ, for you. He also wants you to know that he got a purpose and he got a plan for your life. Say it. God got a purpose and a plan for my life. Well, the song on the um, television show, the TV, it mentioned come worship the God. Every every night or every morning, you should be getting on your knees, thanking God that you are alive and worshiping Him. I know a lot of people know the Our Father which are in heaven, Matthew 6, 9. When you wake up, you should get on your knees and pray to God. When Before you go to sleep, get in the habit of just getting on your knees before you go into bed and thank the Lord for things he has done for you. When you rise up before you even go to the bathroom, get on your knees and start thanking God for waking you up in the morning time. He loves you. And the reason why Jesus Christ came down from the earth because he wants you to have reconciliation to God. Say reconciliation. Reconciliation. That's why Jesus was sent down here on earth. That reconciliation means that a relationship back to God unhindered and uninterrupted before they need the high priest to go to God. But now, since we have the blood of Jesus, we can go to God by ourselves. 
at any time. God never sleeps. God never slumbers. He's always awake. He always listens to your concerns, your problems, your stress, your stressors, your enemies. He's listening. He's always listening. His ear is always open to you. 24 hours a day. The song says, worship God. Learn how to get on your knees. Lift your holy hands up to God. And say, Lord God, I am worshiping. Whatever you did wrong that day, don't worry about it. Still, get on your knees. I can't go to him. I, I, I did this wrong. I got smart my mother. I, I cut somebody out. I stole. Still, get on your knees. And worship God. He wants your worship. You ask him that what Jesus came for. Is to forgive us from our sins. Your wrongdoing. And cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Repent means to turn away from what you did. And if you want to repent. You can ask God. I don't want to do that behavior no more. I don't want to act like this no more. You know what I mean? You got to repent for those ways that you don't want. Those habits that you don't want to do anymore. Repent from it. And say, Lord God, change me. Transform me. Because you can't. I'm, I, oh, oh, tomorrow I'm not going to get smart. But you can't do it by your own. You need Jesus' strength to do it. That's why God sent a Savior to give you the strength to do it. The scripture says, I can do all things. Through Christ Jesus that strengthened me. You, he, he's saying that you need Jesus' strength to be able to do the things. If you got habits, you got strongholds, you got you got animosity, or you got hate, you got un unforgiveness. You can't do it without the love of Jesus. That's why he came. He came, he sent his love for you. So he sent his love for me. You need that agape love. You can't love on your own. You need God's agape love to be able to love other people. You can't do it, you know. You need God's love to be able to do it. So when you wake up tomorrow morning, and when you go to bed tonight, you want to think about this message. And for the rest of your life, before you go to bed, you want to get on your knees and thank God. If it was two seconds, Lord God, I thank you for taking care of me. And you get up. If we get longer and get longer, but if it's short, just get on your knees and give God reverence. Every day you have life. Reverence, as long as you got breath in your body. Is somebody in the hospital right now in, in an oxygen machine? Right now, they shaking and they can't give God reverence and use their words. You got the ability to use your breath and use your words. Use it. Use it for his glory. Use it for his honor in the name of Jesus. So when you want to sleep at night, you want to get on your knees. And when you wake up in the morning, you want to get on your knees. It's for a second. It's for two minutes. Get in the habit of worshiping the Christ. He came down here for you. He can, you can get worship. Worship Jesus Christ, our Lord. He is our Savior. Say, He is, he is. My, savior. my Savior. And, and get to know your Savior. I mean, everybody say, I'm going to church once a week. I'm going to Bible study. That's not getting to know Him for yourself. Say, I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. That's not a personal relationship. He wants you to know Him every single day. You talk to your friends every day. You talk to your teachers every day. You say, you say more words to the bus driver than you say to God. You hold a conversation with a stranger. Then you hold with God. Have a conversation with God on a daily basis. You talk to people you don't know more than you talk to God. Talk to God more than you know people, okay? All right. Say amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. All right. So. Praise God to celebrate our Lord and Jesus Christ as our Savior. How we celebrate His birth. Now we are celebrating within ourselves. Praise God. Like she like said, be born again of His Spirit, His love, His grace. But we can continue on. Praise God, give him the praises and worship him forever. In the name of Jesus. So make the word of my mouth. Word of my mouth. Meditation of my heart. Meditation of my heart. Be acceptable in thy sight. Be acceptable in my sight. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. My strength. My redeemer. Amen. Amen.